Pastor Michael's text is Revelation 19 and verse 9, and it speaks about the marriage supper of the Lamb, and I'm going to go ahead and go back a few verses previous to that. Um, Revelation 19, 9, 5 through 9, says, And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, a voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice, and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And so I was considering, first, the environment that was in heaven during this time, that it was one of praise. It was a great praise, one that was worthy of the Lord. It was as mighty thunderings, as a voice of many waters. So it was very great and very, um, very loud. And it, I also considered why, were all, why was all of heaven praising? It was because the marriage supper of the Lamb had come. It was a time that they had greatly anticipated and they had longed for, and now the time had come. So great praise erupted in heaven. And it also said that this praise was because his wife has, has made herself ready, not just for the fact that it came, but because the preparations had been made for this time as well, by the son and by his bride. Um, I was considering how when a bride prepares for a wedding day here, there's much preparation that goes into it, so that when the day does come that there is nothing left undone and everything goes smoothly. Uh, but I was also concerned there's one thing she does not do, is she does not put on her dress until the day of her, of her wedding. <laughs> Because, because it's not it's a preparation that she makes, but it's not the time for it yet. But when the time does come and the hour does come, then she does array herself in the things that she is to be wearing. I also considered how this is a picture of what happens on the marriage of the Lamb as well, that the bride's made herself ready. She's done all the preparations that she has needed for this day, but does not put on the fine linen until the time has come for her to to marry the lamb for the time of the wedding, of the marriage. Um, the linen is also a picture of the preparations that have been made for this day. There, if there were no preparation that were made, then the linen would not have been as it was, fine and clean and white. And so the next thing that I was considering is, it says, blessed are they which are called to the marriage supper of the lamb. It kind of goes through the, the environment of heaven and then why they're praising, and then it also says that blessed are they which are called, which is Brother Michael's text. And it says, not, I was considering how not only the bride, not only are we the bride who is to be married to the Lamb, but we're also the ones who are called to the marriage supper as well, to partake of the feast of the Lord on, on this day as well. We are called, we are invited to come. When a marriage takes place on the earth, there are those who are invited because of custom or tradition or because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. But then in this invitation, there is not someone who's going to be there because of they have to be there. Those who are going to be there, those who are going to be, the Lord would want them to enter into the joy with him of this day because they have prepared themselves. Um, I was also considering how they are prepared and perfected for this time. They're called because they are worthy to attend the marriage. They're also called because they are prepared. I was considering how the parable of the, of the marriage feast that the king made for his son and how it talked about how they had to have the correct apparel on. And they were called, but then they also had to have the correct apparel on so they could stay. And I was considering how those who are attending this marriage supper are prepared as the bride was prepared for her wedding day. When they were invited, they, well, I was considering how in the earth, even those who come to a wedding don't just come in their regular garb. If you are a farmer, you don't come with your gum boots on with all the manure on it and your clothes and your things that smell the animals and sweat. You clean yourself up. You prepare yourself. You put on appropriate apparel for the day that you're going to be and for the time that you're going to be there. You become presentable. And the same is true of this marriage supper. We are called because we have made ourselves ready. It says that the linen is the righteousness of the saints. So they have made themselves ready for this day. Um, I was also considering how they are able to stay and feast with him because they have the correct apparel on. It's... Anyway, the next part says, and these are the true sayings of God. And this part really struck out to me to begin with because I was considering how God is faithful and he does not lie and everything that he does say will come to pass. 
And so the fact that the Lord has said these things, and then it also puts, he puts in the scripture to write these things, that these are the true sayings of God, gives us the ability to hope in the things that are to come, knowing that they will come to pass because he has spoken them. So in connecting this text to the theme of the table, of considering those things which are before, looking to those things, we anticipate the day that we will be called to the marriage supper of the Lamb, and we can hope in the day knowing that it is coming, and we can forget the things of the earth and prepare ourselves for that day and for the time that we will be one with him. So now Brother Mike will come and expound further upon the text. Amen.